Hello Mulis, uh, in our previous video we have seen how to apply header injection policy so as a part of series of how to apply policies in API manager I'm going to show you a different kind of policies that we can apply so in this video I am going to apply a client edit enforcement policy so currently you can see I'll go to my runtime manager uh, just a heads up that uh, when i am talking about applying policies please consider that my application is up and running like it is deployed already on cloud app and it is active so that means i have configured my api id properly so just before uh, going through this video you can check out my other videos how to deploy an application on cloud app so this is just to show how to apply policies so currently i have two policies which are enabled now I wanted to remove them for that you can do go to actions you can disable or I will remove it for now because I wanted to show you how to apply uh, can you uh, how to apply a uh, client ID enforcement policy so I am removing two policies right so you can see my application is up and running let me go to my cloud app so this is what my payload is all right still it is showing the customized headers because i told you whenever you are doing some modifications on api manager it will take few seconds or at most a minute to update this policy so let's wait for that so here you can see the policy header injection unapplied so how to unapply so if i send this now you can see those custom headers are gone so now how to apply uh client ID enforcement policy it is very simple okay so it's just go to apply new so what are the things you have to keep in mind before that and where you want to where can you get this client ID and secret values we'll see so click on apply new policy the first one it shows like client ID enforcement always try to take the latest uh, uh, version of the policy and also please do check the minimum mule version as well okay what is required so click on conf configure policy so it is asking how to uh, access this client ID and secret values in you when you want to access this uh, credentials so they are saying like whether you want it to be custom it, it like whether you want to pass this client ID underscore secret and ID as custom expression or you want to be in basic authentication header so first i will go with basic authentication header then i will show you how to apply custom expression policy now click on apply so once it is applied you can see there are no values that you can see correct so then how to get this client id and secret values so basically client id enforcement policy is nothing but you have your application deployed on your uh, cloud app and now some client or customer wants to access your API all right so first let me see if the policy is applied and it will take a like few seconds to get it applied I'll show you so it's not that everyone has to have access to your application so you can restrict your access based upon your client all right so I'm just waiting this to be applied so you can see client ID enforcement policy has been applied so if you go here and send the request now it will say invalid client here client or customer it's one and the same like the person who is going to use or utilize your API so how to get this client credentials for that what you have to do is you have to go back to your exchange you can go back from here okay API manager view API in exchange which will take you directly to the exchange then so usually exchange uh, the access to client like uh, you will be seeing the access to uh, clients can have access to exchange and that's where they have to request the access for your api so where you can find it there is a three dotted line on top of this and click on request access so if you drop down here it will show by default this api id so if your application is in different environments right uh, like dev test or sandbox or production then uh, you will be having multiple api ids for different environments so all of them will be shown here in the drop down list so for me currently there is only one account so one environment so i am choosing that then select an application this is what most of them get confused here here whatever you are seeing in the drop down is the are the applications that i have used like created applications for my testing purpose if you are a new client if you are a new customer then you have to click on create a 
new application i can click a uh, new application like um client id iphone testing okay i'll just copy this name why i'll show you uh, your description application url everything is optional just click on create all right so then click on request access okay you can see once i have requested access my client id value and secret value are visible here why because i don't have any restrictions that i have set up in my access management usually in most of the scenarios in real time projects once you click on request access then this uh, request will be going to the ops operations team and they will be able to <clears throat> approve or revoke your access all right but for now i am getting a client id and secret values so let me copy this client id go ahead go to authorizations now and select basic auth only it's the same username and password why because we have chosen our client id enforcement wallet if you click on view details you are using http basic authentication header which means you have to pass client id secret values as username and password so go back here copy this client id and secret show the password then just click it now you can see that you are able to access your api and get the payload this is one way where you can basically uh, apply client id enforcement policy but guys don't be in a uh, confusion that this client id secret values are different from any point platform client id and secret that is the thing which you have to understand now if you go to settings and if you go to properties there will be like uh, uh, any point platform client id and secret these are these client id and secret are different from this so these client id and secret are to apply your policies or you know to deploy your application so that your api id is you know it's basically a contract between your application and your api manager so these values are totally different from these client id secret which you have so okay you have if you have so now close it and um, if you go to contracts here right you can see that whatever application so this is api manager so uh, basically the owner of this application can see who is the person who requested and i told you right uh, basically this is a trial account so i didn't set up anything in access management so by default uh, it is auto approved but you can remove that auto approve from their side and there will be one more option here so once you uh, raise request access uh, it will be saying that you know your request has been placed so the operations team will have an access somewhere like there will be an extra button here to approve it once you approve you will be getting the mails and you can see in your my applications all right so here only client id is visible okay that is how you can apply your policy so i told you there is another way where you can apply client id enforcement go to actions you can edit it and now i don't want to pass it like username and password there are some reasons why because if you are sending as a basic authentication header i'm not sure if i have enabled debug logging here i wanted to show you um so here you can see right if you, if at all there is a requirement for you where you have to uh, get a client id and based upon client id you want to do some internal check or internal authentication but here you can see it is of base 64 encoded value so for that what you have to do you have to copy this all right so to know the values of client id and secret what you can do is go here data view blank i mean i'm just showing you can do it in your code but if at all you want to access your client id and secret value you what you can do is so just wanted to show where a equal to this one and then a split by space which you will get of two and of one which will give your base 64 encoded value i will copy this and keep it like where b equal to here and this is b so you can use from base 64 mule 4 if you search you will see how to decode the base 64 value just copy paste it so um, import the binaries copy this and here you can just say from 
base 64 of b all right now can you see here your client id colon secret again if you want to split it split by colon you, you can see you this is your client id and this is your client secret so if you want to access your client id and secret for any other purpose you have to do this data return part okay to get your details because it is always when you pass it as basic authorization it is always encoded value so the other way around is to use custom expression so here it is asking well how do you want how would you like to pass your client id and secret so for that i am using like i wanted to pass it in the part of as a part of headers so that i can access like attributes dot headers dot client underscore id attributes dot client underscore secret headers dot client underscore secret so let me apply as you know it will take a bit of time to get it applied i am waiting for that meanwhile i just wanted to show that even though i have applied i am able to access via basic authentication because still the policy is not applied so you have to wait for that so basically client id enforcement can be applied via basic authentication header or some custom expression both has its own uh, pros and cons like you know if you are using basic authentication header no one can see like in the logs or something you will see the base 64 encoded value and if you are going with the uh, custom expression yes you can no need to do this data view part to get the values all right so now my policy is applied if i go ahead and send the request I, it will say authentication denied even though i am passing the correct details so what to do so i will use instead of authorization i there is no need for me to now send as part of authorization i can go to headers now i have to pass it like client underscore id and let me copy the values i forgot and uh, so where can i find my this thing go to asset list so if you have forgot your way, way to find this client id and secret you can see under my applications so under my applications so the application which i have used is uh, client id testing here you can see you will have your client id and secret values so client id is this one client underscore secret is this one so now i am passing as part of headers with this custom expression so if i send the request you can see i am able to read the headers i mean able to access the values and then you can see even here the authorization of course it is like showing um, this thing but probably at the code sorry where is this yeah here so there is a difference right previous earlier we were seeing like authorization and uh, we are seeing base 64 encoded value but in this case you can directly use it like attributes dot headers dot client underscore id and client underscore secret so as i said like there are both like here you can expo like you are able to see these headers and all right it, it, those are exposed but um, yeah it has their own pros and cons uh, if it is like basic authentication header this is how you have to decode the values to get them all right so this is how you can apply a uh, basic authentication uh, sorry a uh, client id enforcement policy um, i think yeah that's all for this client id enforcement policy hope you like it and just try it out to see how it works